What's up, what's up? You know what it is, YouTube. You know what this is. 14 grams, you'll find this flower. That's by Flower Power. Is fill this thing up with water. All right, you want to put 120 milliliters of water in your pirate's glass. But this ain't a pirate's glass, so I'm going to show you about where we need to put it. All right. A little more than halfway is where we need it. A little more than halfway. Let me turn this light on. All right. Okay, okay, so we got about 120 milliliters of water, about a little more than halfway. Next thing we're going to do is get that powder, that flour, understand, a.k.a. the baking soda. Put just enough to cover the bottom glass, just a little bit more than a big pinch. Put too much, it's going to throw it all off, but like I said, just a little bit more than a big pinch, maybe two pinches. There ain't no real mathematics to it. I mean, you could do one for every seven or whatever, but that's not how I do it. Next thing you're going to do... Right, you're gonna get your product, the good stuff. Put that on. It's gonna sit just like at, just, it's gonna sit just like that at the top. All right. If it falls down to the bottom, that means it's all cut. You know, this is flour though, so it's gonna sit at the top regardless. But anyways, next thing you do, you put it in the microwave for two and a half minutes. No more, no less. Two and a half minutes. I mean, you can't really burn it, but check it out. Two minutes later. All right, take it out. Next thing we're gonna do. Is we got to get all that extra floating at the top down at the bottom, right? So we get the room temperature water and pour it in just like that. Straight out the sink. See the way I'm doing it with my hands? That's making everything at the top fall down to the bottom. That way when we whip it up, we're going to get everything. All right, now you got to pour out the excess water. Pour out. All right, let's pause right there. Don't pour it out in the sink. Get an extra Pyrex glass if you need to. But don't pour it out in the freaking sink. Because if you accidentally spill your yellow blob oil at the bottom you just screwed up all right back to the video most of the water leave some extra in there on top of your little yellow blob that you're going to have at the bottom i right, understand you're going to have the yellow blob at the bottom when you dump the water out that's the water you're going to whip it up with all right then after that like i told you on the last video you just whip it circular motions round and round understand what i'm saying Eventually, it's going to harden up. Sometimes your fork might harden up in it, depending on the room temperature and whatnot and whatnot. But, yeah, you ain't going to worry too much about that. But like I said, when you're pouring out the water, that excess water back at the beginning, don't dump out your oil. You'll throw it off if you have to put it in another Pyrex glass. Anyways, after you do that, it's going to harden up, bang the cup, and boom, out comes your cookie. Do what you're going to do with it. Alright, just so I don't have to get in any trouble, just so you guys know, this was a straight reenactment using flour and a coffee cup. Okay, I can't do real stuff like that, because first of all, I don't have access to anything like that anymore. Second, I'm trying to get monetized, right? So I'm just showing you guys how to make this stuff for your movies and music videos. Understand? If you planning on taking the information I'm providing to you and breaking the law with it, Slap yourself in the face three times and send me a check for $9.99. Understand what I'm saying? Think this a game? Huh? Do ya? What Snoop Dogg tell y'all? The game is to be sold, not to be told. Understand? Get your mother right. 